Hello, my name is Louise Warren and I'm a makeup artist. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make 3D transfers. Um, I hope it's helpful. Any questions or comments please leave them below and I will try and get back to you. I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to make a 3D transfer is the mould. Um, here I've just sculpted a simple cut and made a mould out of silicon. Now it needs to be silicon really because silicon is flexible and when the bondo comes out of the freezer it loses some of its flexibility so you need to be able to flex the mould in order to get the transfer out. Um, you also need bondo or cabo patch which is this stuff here and all this is is a mixture of prosade medical grade adhesive and cabo seal which is a fumed silica um, mixed together and that's your bondo and it's also called um, cabo patch. This is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm just going to loosen it up with a little bit more prosade. Now what you tend to find with this is if the mixture is really thick, it means when the transfer does come out, it will be um, a little bit stiffer. So if the mixture is a little bit more thin and more pliable, then you'll have more flex in the piece when it comes out. So I'm just going to mix these two together. And you want almost a sort of thick double cream consistency so it's quite spreadable if you can see that there. So then what you need to do is fill your mould. So just dollop some of that in and spread it around to make sure um, you force out any air bubbles that might be trapped in there. And then once that's done if you get a filling knife or you could even use an old credit card that you're not going to use, just something with a flat edge so you can scrape off any excess from the mould. Now you don't want to push too hard and drag out any of the bondo you've put in there, so just gently run it over the top. You can see there's a little air bubble there that I'm just going to pop. And you just want to do that a couple of times so it's nice and level. And then wipe the excess off your blade. I tend to use acetate to make my transfers, but you can use um, silicon parchment paper or anything like that really. You just need to be careful because with acetate you do need to use a release. I'm just going to put a little bit of Vaseline on there just to make sure I can get it out of the mould when it's been frozen. So just put a little bit on there. You don't want too much because then you're going to have trouble getting it out of the mould once it has been frozen because the acetate won't stick to the bondo. And with this as well, you want to make the acetate a little bit bigger than the mould just so you've got some room to play with. You can always trim it back once it's been made. So it's that on there, place that on top of your transfer. And smooth it over so you get good contact with all of the bondo in there. You can use your filling tool again just to scrape out any air bubbles that might be on the surface. Okay, now this one is ready to be put into the freezer. Any freezer, just pop it in the freezer for roughly an hour or until it's completely frozen. Um, and then we can carry on with the next step. Okay, so now the transfer is completely frozen, you can remove it from the mould. Um, you want to do this quite gently and slowly because you don't want to rip any of the fine edges or anything so if you flex the mould and just gently ease it away um, all the way around this might take a little bit of time you don't want to lose your patience with it and rip any edges because then you're going to get bad edges on the uh, on the piece so just slowly ease it out Okay, so now you have um, your transfer on the acetate. Um, you just leave it to you defrost for about an hour or so. This is quite a small mould, so it won't take very long to defrost. Um, you can also speed up this process by using a hairdryer if you just want to blast it um, to speed up the process. Um, before you want to apply the transfer to the transfer paper, um, just get a little bit of IPA and a cotton bud. 
and then on the piece you can use it just to blend away um, any thick edges you might have um, so when it actually gets put on the transfer paper it can go straight onto the skin and you won't have to do a lot of blending so this is just another process remove any um, little chunks or anything like that that might have um, caught on the mould when you were getting it out so yeah just work around work your way around the edges um, just to blend them so they're nice and thin so when you come to apply it onto the transfer paper um, they'll be thin once you use the appliance onto your model's skin. Okay, and um, when you're happy with the edges, using a small amount of prosade adhesive and a little bit of sponge, just sponge on a thin layer of prosade all over the transfer. Make sure you get a nice even coverage of prosade on there all the way to the edges and then just leave that to dry again you can speed up the process by using a hair dryer but I prefer to let it dry naturally just leave it for a few minutes and then it'll be ready to um, pop onto the transfer paper okay so now that the prosade is dry um, it's ready to be applied to the transfer paper um, the transfer paper that I'm using is a water slide transfer paper. You can get different ones um, that go through your printer and things like that, but you kind of you do need the water slide one. Um, it's the same principle as temporary tattoo transfers that they're activated with water. Um, yep, so you need to make sure you apply it to the shiny side. Now what you can do is um, leave the transfer at the stage where it's come out of the freezer without the prosade on it. If you leave it at that stage, um, if you don't need to use it immediately, just store it in an airtight container until you do need to use it, and then you apply the prosade and apply it to the transfer paper. So I'm just going to pop this one on there. Again, you want the transfer paper to be a little bit bigger than your transfer, just so you've got some room to play with. You can always trim it off after. So you want to gently rub over the surface of the transfer, making sure you press down on the edges so you get good contact all the way around otherwise you can have problems when trying to remove it just spend a few seconds doing that to make sure it's nice and stuck and peel off the acetate Again, just slowly do this. If you have any edges that catch, just press it down again to make sure you get good contact. And this is why here you can see that you need to use a release on the acetate just because the bondo will grab onto it so just slowly ease that off just gradually work your way around I could have probably used a little bit more Vaseline on here couple of buckled edges but it's a very usable transfer so your transfer's on there now um, then just get a pair of scissors trim off the excess get as close to the edges as you can like so and then when it's ready to be applied to the skin this would just need to have uh, be placed onto the skin pop on a thin layer of prosade beforehand just to be on the safe side pop it onto the skin press it down flat and then using a bit of sponge a bit of damp sponge or a damp cloth just gently wipe over the surface just to release it from the transfer paper and then you have your 3d transfer thanks very much for watching